I wanted to share with you today some of the products that I recently ordered from Grumpy Girl Candles. This thing I got was this, my little friend. I don't know what his name's going to be. You want to name my little friend? How about Sam? This is Sam. And it came in my box. She like filled my box with little goodies and it had like little finger puppets and it had candy, which my boyfriend ate. But <laughs> it came with like all sorts of little fun things. So here, this is our little friend. Hi. So it's cute because their name's Grumpy Girl, but when I talked to her back and forth on Etsy, she was very polite, very nice. Um, and she's just really nice. Also, uh, she is on Twitter and you can also go on I definitely recommend going on her website and signing up for her newsletter if you are curious and thinking about ordering any products. Uh, she has a PMS sale once a month and you basically get, I believe it's always 20% off. Uh, I also became a fan of her on Facebook and if you become a fan on there she also has separate sales and the I placed my second order last week and I haven't received it yet and she was doing 25% off for Facebook fans. So there's different discounts you're going to get depending on what site you are. So I would definitely recommend signing up for the newsletter on our website. If you are on Twitter, follow her on Twitter. And then third, to be a Facebook fan of Grumpy Girl Candles. So there's three options for sales. So I definitely recommend checking those out. Okay. So one of the things I got was a sample of a soap, and it's called Don't Squeeze My Melons. And it smells like cucumber melon, like identical cucumber melon. And it has this cute little hand in it. You see it? It has a cute little hand in the soap. Don't squeeze my melons. And it smells like cucumber melon. It smells so fresh and so good. And I love it. So that's one of the samples I got. I'd also requested, um, if she did include samples, to put one of Acid Trip in. And that's this one. And you can see the little marbleization in there. That's what the top looks. So if you get a whole bar of soap, you'd see that on the top of yours. And I'm not crazy about the scent on this one. It's m the main scent that goes into Acid Trip is patchouli. And I'm not a fan of patchouli. It remind And it makes sense because this reminds me of the 70s, even though I wasn't born or around in the 70s. But I assume that this is how the 70s smell, and that's why it's called Acid Trip. Um, so that's this one, but the thing that I really like about her soaps is they're very moisturizing. Like afterwards, you don't have to use lotions or anything like that. Like they have a very moisturizing, creamy texture to them. So I tried that one. Then what I bought and I'm loving is on her Etsy shop, you can get three soaps, any three soaps for $15. Um, and otherwise, if you buy them on our website, they're $5.25. And so I got these three soaps. The first one I got is Hot Tranny Mess, and they have the funniest, like, weird names I've ever seen, which I don't, I don't know, it's, I like it, but at the same time I'm like, okay, yeah, so, you know, what, oh, you smell good, what, what, what's that soap you used? Oh, it's Hot Tranny Mess. Like, it's just so random, but that's this one, Hot Tranny Mess, and it is a, it has glitter on the top, if you can see that. There it is. You can see the glitter. And it is a dupe of Lush's Rockstar. I haven't, I don't have any Lush products. I'm hoping to make a Lush order soon to try some out. But it does have a very sweet candy, um, like fruity candy type smell. So I'm interested to try that out. And they're just so fun looking. I just love the way they look. The next one I got, I've taken a chunk out because I already started using it. And it was Deceptions and Lies. And I've used... I have a third of it that I use today in the shower, like probably about from there down, so a little chunk. And it lasts me a shower and there's still the rest of that chunk in there. So the soap, it definitely takes you a while to go through. Um, you know, you're not going to go through a bar really quick. But Deception and Lies, it smells like blackberry and vanilla. Mm, I could just sit here and smell it all night. It smells so good. And so I definitely recommend trying this one if you like blackberry, raspberry, vanilla type smells. And they were all just so cool looking. So I tried this one today and I love it. The scent, so I tried this one today and I loved it. The scent does linger. It's not overpowering. It's not strong, but I could smell it for the rest of the day. And so I really like that because a lot of the soaps, you know, you, like even my Bath and Body Works ones, they smell great when you're in the shower, but after I get out of the shower, 
then I don't smell them anymore. So I really like that the scents on these linger. The next one I got is called Booty Call, and it's this one. So random. And this one has oatmeal on top. Like it has like real oats and oatmeal on top. And it's supposed to be like a nice oatmeal honey type smell. And it just smells really good. Like it smells like an oatmeal soap. Um, there's nothing super special about the scent other than it's amazing. I like it. <laughs> so I like that. It's just a very clean, nice fall scent. Uh, it doesn't have any spice to it that I smell. The other sample, it's, that's booty call. I like the, but I just like all the little personal touches that she puts into them, like putting designs on the top and, you know, doing all of the different color swirls. Like you're never going to get another piece of soap that's going to look the exact same. They're always going to look something different. So I like all the little hand, hand touches that she does, like in the don't touch my melons, there's a little hand in there. Um, there's some that have like a fish inside of them. There's some that I think had like rubber ducks inside of them. Like you can get all sorts of soaps. Make sure on her website you check every single tab because there's scents that are in one tab that aren't in another. And if you also have any trouble, just ask her a question. She responds very, very quickly, um, which is also awesome. I don't think I said. The sample size soap was $2.25 and then all of the other ones are normally $5.25 for a bar. Um, the other sample that she did send me, I've already used, and it was the Naughty Pilgrim, which I'm very happy she sent me because I really wanted to try it. It had a very strong, spicy smell to it uh, when I did try it, and then it has like a pumpkin-y spice. And so when you're in the shower, you definitely smell the cinnamon and the spiciness. And when I was using it, brown was coming off of the bar, like the water, and I know I'm not that dirty. Uh, the water was turning brown when I was using the soap, so that was kind of weird, but I loved the smell after I got out of the shower. After you got out, it was a very creamy fall pumpkin type smell to it that I absolutely loved, and I kept sniffing my arm like throughout the day because I could still smell it and it smelled awesome. So I definitely recommend the Naughty Pilgrim. Uh, so go and check out Grumpy Girl Candles. She sends all sorts of fun stuff with your order. I forgot to say again, I got so many samples. Uh, this one is a wax melt because she does candles too. And this one is in Drunk Uncle Bob and it smells like Christmas, like pure Christmas. Like pure, It's like that potpourri that you would smell around Christmas time. It's just a very spicy, Christmassy smell. I'm definitely gonna save this one for when we put our tree up so that it's just gonna smell like Christmas. But I really like this one. I don't think I would want it as a soap but I would like it as like a, a wax melt. So this one is Drunk Uncle Bob and it was a free little tart. So she's very nice. You get all sorts of fun little goodies. Um, so go check her out. Let me know what you think. If you try any of her products. If you see anything that you have any questions about. Reviews, comments, suggestions. <laughs> He's just cute. I like him. Okay, you guys have a great night, and I will talk to you soon. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye. So you can order them either on her website or on her Etsy shop, and I will put both of the links over in the sidebar. And I saw a review that Mac Wishin' 2 had done on the Grumpy Girl soap, so I wanted to give them a shot. So I went on her Etsy shop, and well, the first thing I ordered was some of their, it's the Grumpy Girl lip cracks and it's their lip balm and this one's in fat bottom girls which is supposed to be like a devil's food chocolate type smell it doesn't have I can tell that it's supposed to be chocolate but it doesn't smell as chocolatey as like a best bath store um, I'm not crazy about the lip cracks it's the only thing I'm not crazy about so far I got it in death by raspberry cheesecake which I think is in my purse and then also in the fat bottom girls they're 275 and they're the average size of a normal lip balm. And everything that's in it is all natural. The first ingredients are different kinds of butters, uh, beeswax, um, some almond oils, different oils. So they are very natural. They are pretty moisturizing on your lips, but to me they do have a slight waxy feel to them. So I'm not as crazy about these. I probably won't be ordering any more of them. So that was the lip crack. Uh, 